Hi, Hiram here. I've been asked by quite a few people to do a larger water test on this ultra-safe, high-capacity, backpacking, stainless steel alcohol stove that I got off eBay for um, uh, being requested to do this. Anyway, uh, people want me to do a larger boil test. Catskill Mountain Girl asked for 64 fluid ounces, which is 8 cups or 2 quarts or 1.89 liters. So I thought that's what I'd do today. I'm going to use my old family cooking pot. It's an aluminum pot, uh, 7 to 5 eighths inches in diameter. That's about 19.3 centimeters, 4.78 inches tall or 12.3 centimeters. I'll put the 64, fluid, 64 ounces of water in here and we'll do a test. Now I'm going to try it. The capacity on this burner, this stove, is supposed to be three and a half ounces of alcohol. I'm going to try it with three ounces and see what that does. So let me get my <coughs> water prepped, my alcohol in, and I'll be right back for a probably somewhat long test. Be right back. Okay, my water's on. Well, it's at temperature now. Let's get going with this. Three fluid ounces of methanol in here. I've got the eight cups of water in the pot. That brings it to about two and a quarter inches from the top of the pot. Uh, room temperature is 81 degrees. Humidity 73. It says wet, although it's not supposed to rain today. I don't know, did I say I put three fluid ounces of methanol in there? I didn't go for the full capacity. And it doesn't even look like it's halfway up with the three fluid ounces. This could take a little longer to get it to blossom. Come on. Okay. There, we've almost got a full blossom. I'm going to go with that. So I've got eight cups of water setting at 60 degrees and let's see where this goes. We're now two minutes into the test. We have a whopping 72 degrees. Not quite as fast as the last tests. Uh, it took a while. It may have, the burner may have blossomed but it wasn't a full blossom like before with the, the added methanol in there it really took some time for it to get up to snuff like it may be now so let's see where it goes from here alright one slight problem I'm having here is the humidity level is so high moisture is forming on the bottom of the pot I hope you can see it here in the camera and it's dripping into the stove like there so uh, we're going on six minutes into the test and the temperature is up to 102 degrees. It actually seems a little faster than what I thought it would be, but uh, I don't know about this moisture. I thought it would burn off, but I guess because of the quantity of water, it's just hanging in there. So let's see where it goes from here. Okay, we're at 210. This could take a while. 211. Come on. 212 in 19 minutes 50 seconds. Interesting. I didn't think it would get that fast. So that was eight cups of water starting at 60, 59 degrees came to a boil in 19 minutes 50 seconds that's hot <clears throat> see what we can see here what I'm going to do now is just let this run out see how long it takes I'm estimating uh, if the first test was 10 minutes 20 seconds yep we got a boil I don't know if you can see it probably not Ow. Um, I'm esti estimating that this might last for 30 to 30 minutes. We'll see. So let's see where it goes from here. Okay, the flames are going. The jets are out. It's just the inner cavity is burning. 
going. Well, still hanging in there. Just the inner section burning. Just going. Okay, I think I'm going to call it there, even though there's a little bit of flame in there. I'm going to call it at 2530. 25 minutes, 30 seconds. Okay, I think you know, the temperature is going down now, so it's the flame is out. Let me take this off. I think I see why we stopped using this pot. This uh, clamp is a little loose. <clears throat> I was really hoping that the burn time would be linear. On the first test with one fluid ounce, it ran out at 10 minutes 20 seconds. So I was hoping that with three fluid ounces, it would go for 31 minutes, but no such luck. So that was eight cups of water. Uh, 64 fluid ounces, 2 quarts, or 1.89 liters, came to a boil in 19 minutes 50 seconds, and then ran out at 25 minutes 30. So that was with 3 fluid ounces, and it looked like there was a whole lot, even though it says it has a capacity of 3.5 fluid ounces, it looks like you could put more in there. So, interesting. If we could just come up with some sort of a simmer for this, this might be a handy little stove. I have a couple more ideas that I want to play with on that. Hopefully I'll be getting ideas from you guys, you people. But, uh, interesting. So, I thank, I hope this helps, Catskill Mountain Girl. She asked for the 64 fluid ounces, the 8 cups. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.